Hey everybody, this is the Frederick Review here, and I'm here today with Hung Gao. Um, she is the owner of the Gao Acupuncture Center. Uh, they do acupuncture, and they practice Chinese medicine for pain relief, uh, woman's health, reducing stress, chronic fatigue, and a lot of other stuff. So, um, Hong, I'm just going to turn it over to you. Why don't you just introduce yourself and yeah, uh, tell us a bit more about your business. Hi, uh, everybody. My name is Hong Gao, and... I am a licensed acupuncture, acupuncturist in Maryland, and I just started practice here in Frederick for about a year. And uh, I was trained in China, and yes, basically it's is is this. Okay, so when did you, when it's, you said you started a year ago, did you, when did you start just, uh, I guess, not in China? You said you learned in China, you started your business in Frederick a year ago. Um, how long have you been doing acupuncture in Maryland before that? Oh, uh, yes, I uh, graduated in 1991. Okay. And right, uh, right after that, I uh, practiced. Uh, in a hospital in China for about five years. Okay. Then, by the chance, my uh, husband has uh, education in Japan, so we lived in Japan for about five years. Then we immigrated to Canada. So I practiced in Canada for about seven years before like, we moved to States. And after I took the uh, NCC AOM examination, uh, I licensed. Uh, I licensed in Maryland. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I'm new to business these days, but I'm not new to this profession. Yeah, you've been all over. Wow, that's that's really yeah. awesome. Um, so why did you want to start your business in Frederick? Why did you want to start your acupuncture center? Frederick is a kind of um, a city, so. <laughs> The, the truth is, it's a city close to my husband's work. That's okay. why we chose to, uh, to really move from uh, Pennsylvania okay. to uh, Frederick, Maryland. Okay. And also, like, Mar uh, Frederick is a city like with multicultural, like, all kind of, like, um, uh, different things for, for my daughter, too. It's, it's, it's a good place yeah. to live and having business. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's great. Yeah. Frederick, uh, is, I agree. I've lived in Frederick my whole life and it's, it's nice cause it's this little, nice little niche kind of near DC, Washington, DC, but it's not, mm -hmm. it's not too close and you got a, a good mix mm -hmm. of a lot of things here. Um, so, uh, why acupuncture? I mean, obviously you studied in China, but what made you want to study in China? I mean, how'd you even get into acupuncture? Yeah, that's that's not an interesting story because like I kind of follow my family step. Okay. Like both, yeah, both of my parents were like a uh, doctor of Chinese medicine, and uh, my father practiced uh, a pediatric, and my mother she she was acupuncturist in China, and I have two sisters. They all like went to medical school. And one is a primary care doctor in um, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, okay. And I was practice here. Yeah. So, and I, uh, when, like, uh, we grew up, definitely we take uh, Chinese herbs and acupuncture when we have problems. And also, like, we all see our parents treating, like, patients. So that's why, like, right. Yeah, I feel like uh, it's helping people. Definitely, I like to helping people. So, um, and that is a reason like why I keep doing acupuncture. Definitely, I see a, this kind of lack of the care in right. here in the United States, like the holistic healthcare and acupuncture. And I think at this point, when we're talking, when I'm having a conversation with like uh, people, they heard about acupuncture, so but they don't know they when don't, they right. can like see an acupuncturist and 
what condition they can get help from acupuncture. So they don't know like all it, what it actually does. They just kind of know yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so you said you've kind of been in Frederick for a year. Um, if you could go back a year ago, what's something, some a piece of advice that you you'd give yourself a year ago when you were kind of starting your center? That's that, that's really a question, uh, interesting question. And what advice I will give myself? I personally, I do have the leg of the uh, business parts. I'm not really like um, good with business. Mm -hmm. I may do more like look do the like maybe advertisement or everything like locally. Yeah, that's yeah, that's something. <laughs> it's it's really like I'm not good at business. Right. So I'm good. I'm good at help helping people. I'm good with treating like different conditions, but I'm not good with business. So I may, if I can restart, I may do more like marketing like all sorts to somebody really can help me to doing that. Right. No, that's totally understandable. Um, you know, and yeah, it's for someone who's, you know, in the medical field and used to helping people, that's, it's, you know, not surprising. Not everyone's super like business, business, mm -hmm. like acumen and all that. Um, but that, you know, that's a good piece of advice. Um, what would you say is your favorite thing about, um, having your center or, or, or doing acupuncture? When when somebody comes back to you and say they they kind of like feel good after treatment and they want to refer some friends or like relative come to see me, yeah, that's that's a that's a big part. Yeah, that's fantastic, especially when they probably refer their friends to you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, opposite. What's the hardest thing? The hardest thing is like. <laughs> It's really hard for me to turn turn down somebody like come to see me for help. And I think at the point, it's like I cannot helping them because the condition has been like a long time, like years, years ago with this condition. And at the point, it cannot be reversed or even like slow down the progress. So that's it's really hard for me, and I, I feel like when I turn them down, it's kind of like took away their hope. Right. That it, it is hard for me. Yeah, that so so basically, when somebody maybe has something that they have they've had for a while and they didn't treat uh -huh. right away. Uh -huh. they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They they never add acupuncture be uh, uh in included their care like after maybe like 20 30 even 40 years later it's really hard like acupuncture can really put uh, like make a change of their condition right so, yeah i do not lie to people so i will tell them like i don't think i can like, make a lot of changing at this point and i feel like i just like turn their hope down. So right. they want to try to something new to see if it can help in them. So that's really. No, yeah, I, I definitely can see where that would be, you know, tough. Um, So what right now is your, your number one way of getting new customers? How do you get most of your customers right now? You mean what am I doing? Uh, yeah, like what's, how do you, do you get most of your customers for, through like, uh, when people tell their friends to go or how do you get your, what's the number one way you get your customers? Believe it or not, even like I'm just in this office for a year, the, the most of my clients is through like word to mouth. Okay. I, I, do, I do want to do more things, but I just still didn't find a good way to right. really it's tough yeah i under, yeah it's tough when you don't really have like an idea of where to start mm -hmm. yeah i i do i do some like i did google ads i did uh facebook ads i do some like uh print 
eyes with a Chinese newspaper, but not not, not really affected. So, right. So, well, in terms of you know you and your business and and in, in, in that in that regard, what's something that makes you and your acupuncture center different from maybe some other acupuncture centers um, that might be in the area or just any acupuncture center really what makes you what sets you apart uh i think maybe the most part is uh, the background and with uh the actually i'm the third generation in my family who practice acupuncture i think that's a big part and also like um because of my background i treat kids the okay. pediatric acupuncture. I don't think there's a lot of people doing that, even like we say in the whole country, not just Frederick. Right. <laughs> even like we say the whole country, because um, uh, most of the time, like you don't know how to deal with kids, and you don't know like what condition can help really well. And acupuncture is, I don't know personally, did you have acupuncture before? No, I've never had acupuncture before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So acupuncture is not really scary from the movie or some like pictures. It's not that. So I do uh, acupuncture on my uh, daughter. So from like um, seven or even like younger. So oh, wow. it's it's yeah. So it's it's helpful, and she knows it. So she will ask for acupuncture. So. Yeah, I think that's the big difference. Like, um, I also do herbs. So yeah, no, that's, kids, that's really kids. Yeah, so um, for some condition like a migraine or like a teens problem, that definitely acupuncture can help. Oh really? So, I never, okay. Yeah, to manage it, like you don't have to take the pills like all the time. So I think that's that's really really something like I, I i want people know that yeah i've I've never gotten it before but i think i think maybe my dad or my brother has i can't i don't know i'd have to talk i'd have to ask one of them but i've never personally got it i, I i've <laughs> never i i just never even really knew yeah like you said i didn't know it helped migraines and stuff like that that's really interesting um so um you kind of alluded to kind of how you have tried to use like things like AdWords and stuff like that. But um, just in general, how has technology helped you kind of in this past year starting your business? Technology, definitely I have a website. So, <laughs> and actually I'm really not a really like high tech person. Yeah. So. So basically, um, just I, I think I just did the basic, the Google ads, words, the, the Facebook ads. So, I mean, do you do people like uh, when they schedule an appointment with you? Do can they do it online or do they call you? How does that work? Uh, yes, I um, on my website there's a different kind of form. Like people can fill out and they can send to me, and then like we. Uh, yeah, because English is not my like first language, <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I personally prefer email, so I can understand better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Call is phone call is okay, and online scheduling, I I I use it on my end. Definitely, I use it, the electrical like uh, health health re record, and I have an online booking system, but. I use it on my end. It's not like you can like schedule appointment yourself. Yeah, I, I prefer like you contact me and right. like we we'll do it together. Okay, so I already kind of asked you earlier about some advice stuff, but if you if someone if someone else wanted to open an acupuncture center or somebody wanted to get into acupuncture. What's mm -hmm. something that you would tell that person? Like, what's a piece of advice that you'd give somebody who's interested in um, learning acupuncture? That's that's really um, depending on like uh, how you feel. Because I'm not studying acupuncture here, but I have been a 
uh, several different uh, practice management uh, courses for people like they gave uh, uh, advice for people like fresh start. Right. They always, yeah, they always suggest to go somewhere like without any acupuncture clinic. So <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't know, maybe easier in that way. So I, right. I'm not, um, I think I'm not sh sure about that. And also like with my background, and I don't think I can give really a good advice for that. So. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, That's all the questions I had. I, you know, I, this was interesting to me. I, I've, I've never done acupuncture, like I said a few times, but I there's a few yeah. things that I didn't know they even did. So, mm -hmm. know, I mean, I've I I actually have had some migraines every now and then. So maybe next time I have a migraine, I'll, that's something I'll consider. But I, you know, I learned a few things here and there, and um, I hope you enjoyed this conversation. Um, what we're gonna do is well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh upload this. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna upload it online, and then I'm going to have it all in writing too and then once i have all that we'll put it on our website and then i'll send you all the stuff so you can see it does that sound good yeah that's great all yeah. right awesome yeah, nice talk to you yeah yeah good talking to you too home